This video is going to talk to you about how to work with the empty application template. Up until now, your labs have been working with this single view application. But from this point onwards, we're going to work using a new empty template. This will help familiarise you with how we build the different components of the application. You'll notice that once you've created your application, there are a number of key files which are missing. The first of these is the storyboard. With the empty application template, you don't get a storyboard. So we're going to have to add this one at a later point. You'll also notice that you have a delegate class, but you don't have any view controllers. And again, these will have to be added yourself. Let's start by explaining how we add a storyboard to our application. The first step is to physically add a storyboard file to the application. And the second step, you have to tell the application which storyboard to use. To add a new file, you simply right click on your yellow project folder and select new file from the list. And there's a series of different categories in the drop down list. The first category is we need to look at is user interface. And in that category, the first item is a storyboard file. And we simply add a storyboard and give it a sensible name. Once we've done that, we have to go to the app target screen, which you can access by clicking on the blue bar above your project folder. Part of the way down, there's a section called deployment info, and there is a drop down list which allows you to specify your storyboard file. If that list is empty for any reason, shut down Xcode, restart it, and the list should be populated. Once you've done that, you can add views to your storyboard. With this single view application, the view had been added for you. But with a blank storyboard, you have to choose one of the views, which are indicated with yellow circles, and drag it into the storyboard to create the view. In theory, this should work. But in practice, there's a problem. The problem is that there's a line in the app delegate file which is preventing the storyboard from loading. What you need to do is find this method. Application did finish launching with options and just delete it. And once you've deleted that, you'll find that your application will run as normal. So now we've added a storyboard, I need to explain to you how to add new view controllers. Every view needs to have a view controller. And when we use this single view application template, a view controller has been added for us. In this template, we have to do it all ourselves. So every view needs a view controller. So if your application requires two views, you need to add two different view controllers. So we add a new file as before, and this time the first section contains an Objective-C class. And we used this in the previous one lab when we created our own custom classes. When we created our custom class, we created the subclass of NS object. To create a view controller, we must create a subclass of UI view controller. Make sure you give your view controller a sensible name that ends in the word view controller, otherwise you're going to get confused. Make sure, your subclass, make sure you subclass UI view controller and it will create the header and implementation files for you. And before you can use them, you need to go into the implementation file and you'll find a method called init with nib name bundle. You don't need this. Nibs were the precursor to storyboards. We don't need this method at all. It can be deleted completely. Now we've created a storyboard with some views. We've created the view controllers for them. What we haven't done is we haven't associated the view controller with the view. So to do this, you return to your storyboard, you select your view controller, and you open the identity inspector. And you'll see the top section says custom class. All you need to do is click on the drop down list and choose the view controller class that's going to control that view. And you need to do this for each of the views that you've added to the storyboard.